Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Wednesday, December 29th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every week at 1030 a.m. for Sunday worship. My scripture today is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessings of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. This is the word of the Lord. Well, I have chalices here on the shelf to illustrate this particular daily message. Now, in the message, it's actually going to be different drinking vessels, drinking cups, drinking glasses, and so forth. But I thought that these goblets, these chalices, would serve well. You see, a professor had students over for a little informal lunch. And before the lunch was served, he showed them a table. And it had many cups and glasses, and they were filled with punch. And he said, please take a cup, and then we'll gather in the kitchen where we'll have our sandwiches and finish our meal. Well, as they approached the table, they saw, just as with these chalices, that they were all different. Some were quite plain. Others were quite fancy or beautifully carved. Some looked barely better than a Dixie cup. Others looked like a chalice for the Knights of the Round Table. And they began jostling, trying to grab the one that they liked the best. And the professor then gathered them and said, now, please understand, I am not saying that any of you did anything wrong. However, I did this exercise to illustrate to you how easily we become trapped in materialism. How very naturally we slide into patterns of behavior that, in the first place, had nothing to do with greed or avarice, but over time we can begin to covet, not because our hearts were black, but because our habits left us astray. And they weren't quite sure what he meant. And he said, look at these glasses and cups. At first, all you wanted was a cup of punch. And they all have punch in them all the same amount. But when you looked at the vessels, something in you said you wanted the best. And so it began to matter to you what cups others received and what cups you received. Now this was harmless enough, but remember this lesson. Do not allow your habits, no matter how subconscious, to begin to train you to be more and more materialistic, more and more with a spirit of coveting, more and more comparing and counting beans in your relationship with one another. Well, I don't know which chalice you would have chosen, I'm rather partial to this one. But the truth is, they're only here to carry a beverage. And in our lives, there are so many examples of how we can put aside being jealous or materialistic, coveting what others have, and simply remembering that these vessels are only there to serve a purpose. Let it be so in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that we would not inadvertently train ourselves to be bean counters, to compare and contrast, to be jealous, to covet, to be materialistic, 
Rather, may we remember function. May we remember generosity. May we remember all the blessings we have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.